Today I'm going to show you how to take a 25 pair and use the color code to punch it down. Hi, my name is Craig Michaud and I am the electrical instructor. Today what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to take that color code that we talked about in, in a previous video and I'm going to show you how we punch it down on the 66 and how we punch it down on the 110. A couple things you're going to need to remember. The color code obviously is a very important and if you don't understand the color code please go watch the video that's up in the link. Okay here we have a 66. A 66 block and this 66 box is a little bit different than most but this is a little larger. But the nice thing is is you get the idea of what it does. Basically you start from the top work your way all the way down to the bottom. Now this happens to be a six port most of them are five um, but at least this way here you get a general understanding. When you punch down your 25 pair, you're going to punch down from top to bottom, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to start out with your white blue and then your blue. So your white pair is going to go here, your red pair is going to go here, your black pair is going to go here, your yellow pair will go here, and then you'll see your violet pair that's going to go here. Now keep in mind, punching that down, you're going to, you're going to use a 66 punch down tool for that. You're going to need the cut end of it also. What I'm going to show you is how to punch down the 110 block. The 110 block is very simple. Always remember, you're going to read it from top to bottom, left to right. That's how we read a book, right? So it's kind of simple. This is going to be a short little video. I'm going to show you how to lay the color code and get the, um, get the 25 pair in line. If you were to do anything more than a 25 pair, you would just continue doing the same procedure over and over and over and over again. You just gotta remember the first 25 pairs, the rest of it all falls in place. Okay, with that being said, we have our wire stripped. First thing we have to do, we have to separate our pairs. Okay, now by separating the pairs, now we're going to start from here. We're going to lay them in. So what we're going to do is we're going to tuck our wire and we're going to start with pair number one and we're going to do the blue white. Always leading with the white color first. Once you get the wires up there, just kind of tuck them back a little bit. Now we're going to go through and we're going to do our next color, which is red.
Next will be yellow. Last but not least, we'll, use, we'll do the violet. Now you'll take your now you'll take your 110 punch down tool and you'll punch everything down. Okay. A punch down tool has a cut side and a non-cut side. The cut side is the side you're gonna cut that's going past. That's the excess wire. So that wire is what you're gonna be cutting off. All we have to do now is punch it down. Okay, so now that we have it all punched down, you can see that there are some wires that are still attached. The one thing you're gonna wanna do is you're not gonna wanna yank them because you don't wanna pull them out. There's no metal in a 110 punch. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna, uh, excuse me. There's no metal in a 110 block. So what I want you to remember is just kinda twist them and they come right off. And they come right off. Now, in order to cross connect, what we have to do is we have to install what we call a C4 clip. Okay, C4 clip's got nothing but metal at the end. We use a multi pair punch down tool in order to get this in place. Okay, now these come, they're C3, C4, C5s, you know, depending on the type of system you're using, that's what you're going to use. But in order to do this, so I'm going to show you how we punch these down. Line it up and you're gonna punch it down just like you would the regular punch down tool. And it's gonna be set. Let's do a couple more. Same thing with the C4, you don't have to worry about the, uh, the slate pair, just punch them down. Okay, so that's pretty much it. This is how we punch down a 110 block uh, with the 25 pair with the color code that we learned in the last video. C4s, meaning we have four pairs or eight conductors. We punch those down and then we can use those for cross connecting or adding conductors, whatever we need to do, whether it be jacks, um, you know, phone connections, whatever it may be. 
110 block is nice and easy to work with. 66 is also nice and easy to work with. It takes a little bit of time to get used to, but once you get used to it, it, they're very easy to knock down. So remember, to recap, 66 block, you start with your blue, your blue white or your white blue pair and you work your way down. So you're gonna do your whites, your reds, your blacks, your yellows, and your violets. When we look at it, we're gonna start with our white pair, then we're gonna to go to our red pair, then we're gonna to go to our black pair, then we're gonna to go to our yellow pair, then we're gonna to go to our violet pair. Remember, this is very basic, okay? We're only talking about, you know, small projects to kind of get the understanding of how they get installed. If you're, if you're to do this kind of work, you're gonna see it on a larger scale. So just, just remember, 25 pair, once you understand the 25 pair, you pretty much understand the color code, you just have to follow through. If you still don't understand, please go watch my other video. We'll explain the color code to you just a little bit more in depth. This here was just a small little video to show you how to punch it down. Great, hope this video helped. If this video helped, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. As always, if you haven't subscribed, please do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Ring the little, you know, click the little bell next to it so that anytime um, we have we put out new videos, which we do every Friday, uh, you'll be up to date. So you can click them, watch them, and see what we're up to. As always, have a great day and be safe.